What's up guys, GT here. Yes, I'm back from my trip from overseas and I had a lovely time. Hope you all are doing great as well. Now, most of the times you would want to open up the Axifix to take your time, dial in that sweet tone that you always wanted and you know, dial in the right amp, dial in the right cap and become one step closer to becoming the tone master that we all want to be. <laughs> But most of the times, like for me as well, you just want to open up the Axifix 2 and go to a preset which you like and just jam the hell out of it. Yes, uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you what is my go-to preset and what preset I use most of the jams. Some of you have asked for this preset as well, so why not share the preset with you guys, I think. But before we do that, uh, it's time for the honorable mention for this video. It's going to be Job Van Den Herk. I hope I got your name pronunciation right. Uh, you made a special contribution, special thanks towards the channel. Thank you so much for that. In case you're wondering how you can support the channel, check the links in the description box below as to how you can support the channel. Either you can send me a super thanks through YouTube or you can send something to my PayPal directly. I'd really appreciate that. And in return, I'll give you a shout out as well. All right, let's get into it. Let's dive into the XFX2 and I'll show you my go-to preset. All right, guys, so I've got the axe edit in front of me, like always. And the first thing you want to do is obviously start with the blank preset and dial in the amp in the cap. Now, if you've followed the channel ever, you would know that one of my favorite amps from the Axe FX2 is the Mesa Boogie Mark II C++ amp. So what we're going to do is use that amp. Let's go ahead and select that. What I'm going to do is change this from 59 base guy to let's change it to USC 2 C++. Now, when it comes to the cabs, also you've heard me talk about these two cabs a lot on the channel as well. These two are my favorite, the F073 and the F074 cabs. Let's change this from normal high ultra res to stereo ultra res and turn off the link here. I'm gonna select those two. These are four by 12 USA traditional, I believe recto cabinets with Celestian V30 speakers set up. These are already pre-mic'd as you can see over there. These are ML audio cabs. Uh, I'm not gonna change anything here. Let's keep everything at stock and let's hear how the preset is sounding at the moment. Uh, sounds okay-ish, but it's obviously not having that power and punch and that's really what we're going to dial in. We have not touched anything in, so let's go ahead and start tweaking the amp. Now for the input drive and overdrive, you can go uh, high as you want. If you want more gain, I like to keep it around seven and overdrive around eight. I'll show you how to add more gain later in the video as well. Uh, for the bass mids and treble, if you ever dialed a Mark series amp from Mesa Boogie, you know that these are pre-gain and you want to keep them low and not have them too high in the mix right away. So for the bass, I want to like to keep it around 1.3. Mid, I like to keep it 1.2. We're looking for that scooped sort of a sound, which, uh, you know, I'm a huge Petrucci fanboy, so, and I'm playing his signature guitar as well. So this sort of an amp setup works really well when you have a scooped mid sort of a sound setup. So uh, for the treble, I don't want to keep it too high, around 7.5-ish is fine. Um, the presence, you want to keep it low, otherwise it becomes too ice picky. Uh, the presence is not very sensitive in this amp, but I like to keep it low, just on the safer side. It gives a more smoother tone. Uh, the master volume with any amp is tricky, and it comes defaulted at 5, but you have to find that sweet spot where it sounds right to your ears. If you go too low, the amp's going to sound very thin. If, thin. if you go too high, the amp's going to sound bulky and thick but you have to find that sweet spot as I said and for me 8.7 kind of works really well and it sounds sweet over there uh, the next thing you want to do is obviously go and dial in the GEQ but before you do that let's hear how this is sounding at the moment <laughs> Sounds nice, but it's not having that, you know, Mark series feeling that you really all like. So let's go ahead and do that. If you ever dialed a Mark series amp, you would know that you want to dial in a sort of a V curve to get that scooped sort of a mid sound. So let's go ahead and, you know, you know, dial in the faders the way I like it. Uh, 80 hertz around 6.5. This is the low end. You want to add some of that low end in because we removed it a lot from the EQ if you saw earlier in the amp. Uh, the 240 is kind of the low mids. You want to keep it around 1.9. These faders are really sensitive, so make sure you 
spend a lot of time in this section of the amp so that you know how you want your tone to sound tweak a few things you know use a looper if you know the looper trick and tweak a few things and see how your tone changes uh the mids you want to keep it uh you know scooped out as i mentioned the lower you go the thinner your preset's gonna sound the higher you go the more thick and more lead heavy your preset is going to be sounding so i like it around sweet spot around minus 7.7 .7. all right the next fader is going to be uh, 2200 which is going to be set to around 1.4 now we are reaching the top end of the spectrum so you want don't want too much treble coming through as well so what you want to have as 6600 is around five if you go higher the preset is going to start sounding thick uh, thin and it's going to start you know hurting your ears a bit so you want to keep it smooth and you don't want it to sound too harsh to the ears as well uh for the cab what i like to do is go into the advanced section and set the low cut to around 90 hertz and high cut to around 4800 hertz this is going to take off some of that top end and it's going to make the preset sound a much more fatter and smoother so hear this now <laughs> That sounds great. I hear a bit of boom happening. That's probably because of the bass that we pulled back in. To tame some of that low end, what you can do is go and add in a drive block, which is going to add more gain and it's going to tighten up your low end section of the tone as well. The drive pedal you want to use and I like to use is the T808 overdrive. This is the famous overdrive pedal we all know about. The drive you want to bring it down to zero is just pushing the amp. We don't want to add too much more drive. The tone you want to bring it down to around 3.4 and the level you want to push it all the way up to 10. So once you do that, this is how it sounds. That sounds really cool. So that's pretty much the basic setup of the tone. But what I also like to do is add in some chorus. Now, when it comes to chorus, the Dimension 1 chorus works really well with the Mark series amp and the Mesa Boogie amps, in my opinion. I believe this was added based on Petrucci's request. And this is the chorus that Petrucci used to use. Uh, what you can do is bring the rate down, uh, not to LFO sing. Let's keep it down as much as I can. I believe I brought down the depth as well to around 25% and mix i brought it down to around 12 percent so i don't want too much chorus happening over there yeah somewhere around there should be fine what i did is also go into the tone section and change the dimension mode to high which is something that i always like to do it just gives a better chorus effect in my opinion so hear this out now <laughs> So usually when I use this preset, I like to use it really dry and, you know, because when I'm practicing with a metronome, you don't want the delay in there. It's a good way to practice, but you obviously need some sort of effect in there to make it a little more spaced out and make it sound more comfortable to play and just raw distortion sometimes doesn't do the trick for me. So what I like to do is add in some reverb over there. Let's go ahead and do that. For the reverb, what I like to do is use London plate always a really good sounding reverb change the quality to high keep everything at stock i don't change anything here usually uh, bring the mix down to around 10 percent as i said i don't want too much reverb in there so this is how it sounds with the reverb on now <laughs> Fairly chunky, fairly nice. I really like it a lot. I use this preset every day, as I mentioned. Now, if you want to add in some delay, you can obviously do that. What I like to do in terms of delay to turn this into sort of a lead preset or have a scene two in there, what you can do is add delay block in parallel and connect the dots. What I like to do is use a block that I had saved earlier for Petrucci's Gift of Tone. I recreated this from the Gift of Tone series for the Axe 3 and I shared this on the channel as well in a video. So make sure you go ahead and grab that uh, block. There are four blocks actually. I like to use Petrucci Delay Long a lot. It's really good sounding and it sounds like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'll play you a part of one of the jams so that you can hear as to how it sounds in the mix as well right now. All right, the other thing I always like to do is also add in a volume pan here. Why volume pan before the delay and reverb to get those nice swells? I have an expression pedal with me and what I like to do is link it to that expression pedal and you can right click in the center over there and go ahead to external one is what my you know external pedal is set up as. And once you do that, you get this nice kind of a thing you can control with your you can control the volume of the preset with your pedal uh, which is not rocket science so if you want to get those nice swells in there you can definitely do that I could play that on preset for like hours and hours. I really love the way the swells come out in this particular preset, especially with the delay and reverb. It makes it sound really smooth and really kind of like Count of Tuscany, the middle section if you ever heard it. Well, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed that tone. And as always, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And I really appreciate all the comments. I read all of them and I reply all of them. So I really appreciate all your feedback. Let me know what your go-to preset looks like. What is your amp and cap combination? I'd really love to hear your thoughts in. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, and if you like the content, make sure you give it a like and do sub to the channel as well. I'd really appreciate that. Until I see you guys in the next video, make sure you guys stay safe, keep rocking. Cheers, bye-bye.